And that's why we say shop here today and just get down and get funky, okay? Excellent job, Gordon. Really good. Beautiful. Thank you. Super. Hey, just want to take a quick moment and talk real briefly about the voiceover business, the voiceover industry, and the auditioning process. Okay, currently to date, I've done over 100 auditions on Voices.com, and I only got one job. Okay, and you say, well, Gordon, why would you do that? Why would you do 100 auditions just to get one job? Let me tell you something. What happens is that you get better and you get faster and you are a better artist because of simply auditioning, regardless of whether or not you get the job. Since I started auditioning two and a half months ago, I have learned to be faster and more precise. Nine times out of 10, what they're looking for is a natural read, the guy next door. And those are the jobs I auditioned for. So consequently, <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not getting any jobs. I don't know. But anyway, but everybody in the business I talk to, Jillian Nielsen, Lisa Foster, Rob Siglin-Paglia, they all say, now these are professional people who are coaching, who are teaching, don't pay any attention to the numbers. You would think, oh, well, I've done 100 auditions. I'm no good. Nobody likes me. Uh, but you are the one who's improving. You're making contacts. I've made contacts with production companies online through my auditioning because they give me a thumbs up. They at least listened, they acknowledged what I was doing, and they liked it. Yeah, they didn't hire me, but you know what? Sometimes their client, who's hiring them to do a commercial of some kind, sometimes they back out of a project. The money runs out. They decide to go with a different company. Somebody else above them makes a decision, we're not going to go this route. And so the plug gets pulled on a lot of projects, because when you're the voice actor, you're way down on the production line as far as people involved in yes or no. This is what I hear. Oh man, so many people are doing those auditions. It's just a waste of my time. It's like a drop in the bucket. It's a one in a million chance that I'm gonna get a job. That is absolutely the wrong attitude to have. You've already defeated yourself before you've even recorded a word. Do not and never get caught up in the numbers game. The voiceovers are acting. As you know, it's a competitive business. There are a lot of people out there trying to do this stuff. But you can never say to yourself, I only have a one in a million chance of getting a job. Or, guess what? You're not going to get the job. It's as simple as that. You have just got to concentrate on your technique, concentrate on doing the best that you can. Don't worry about the other people. Just do your best job and put your work out there. It's my firm belief that, especially knowing that what I'm doing this audition for is to get future contacts, the ones that do this the best will get the work. The ones that don't concentrate on doing their best will not get the work. Bottom line on that is attitude is everything. You have to have a positive attitude. Exactly. There you go. So don't be discouraged. Don't play the numbers game like Rob says. It'll only deter you from making any kind of progress. You've got to have this positive attitude that you are doing well, you're marketing yourself, and eventually the momentum pays off. That's got to happen, right? So anyway, you keep in there, you keep auditioning. Please do not get discouraged if you think the numbers are stacking against you, because really, you're making advancement no matter what happens. You always get better. Anyway, i got to get back to work. The producer is calling me. All right, all right. And that's why... Oh, hold on. Wait, wait. Love it. Take two. <laughs> and that's, and why, that's why we say, we say, we say shop, shop here today. Shop here today. today. It's wonderful.